Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another exciting podcast here. This is the Grizzly Talk Podcast. Now, before we get on to our, our topics here today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest. Um, we're not here alone with this podcast today. We have a second, second person, a second voice. He's letting his voice be heard today on the podcast and potentially turning this show into a two-man show instead of a one-man show. Of course, Caesar, uh, you guys know how we do it on the podcast. We let them introduce themselves, and they do a lot of plugins. So, Caesar, the mic is yours. Uh, hey, uh, I'm Caesar Ortiz, um, international business major. Learned about the podcast by pretty much pure luck, um, and I got really interested, and I joined it. Um, Really interested in the whole podcast and how it works for, especially for GDC. Um, I guess to plug uh, my Instagram, uh, it's uh, czar underscore vii or c z a r underscore vii. Uh, not much on there, just some art stuff. Very interested in digital media and graphic design stuff. Yeah. So uh, again, thank you for coming on the show, Caesar. Um, I, we've been wanting a second person, a second body, a second GGC student to come on the podcast and just kind of help host it for me uh, for our platform. And we're so thankful that you're here on the show. And potentially maybe you'll come back on the show yeah. to more episodes for sure. Um, Caesar, check out check out his Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of George Gwinnett College. I've seen the art. And I, we didn't talk about this before we were mm-hmm. recording. What, what inspired you to do that art? Uh, it's just... A hobby. It's really, it's just, uh, I guess, a passion of mine to do kind of stuff. So I'll just mess around in Photoshop for like a few hours or so and just something comes out. So that's good. So you mentioned digital media. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, if you, uh, you may have not known this about uh, both of us. We went to Grayson Tech as on our way over here live from the Grizzly Mm -hmm. Digital Network. We talked about Grayson Tech and and some of the teachers want to give a shout out to Miss Connors and Miss Bailey in yeah. particular. Uh, I've did uh, had a class with Miss Connors with commercial photography. You did with Miss Bailey for yeah. uh, digital media. Yeah. Um, so shout out to them. Shout out to Grace and Tech. Hopefully, maybe we can get them on the podcast That'd one cool. day. Yeah. That'll be a cool experience, really a cool. blast from the <laughs> past, maybe. Um, so thank you for coming on the show here today. Um, love is in the air. You know, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Um, could you remember all the stories, um, all the memories we did back in grade school where um, we would go to Walmart or go to <laughs> Ingalls and we would buy the uh, bags of candies for our, our fellow classmates? Do you, do you remember that? Yeah, of course. Like, all of elementary, every year, you know, once Valentine's Day, the teachers would encourage you to go make a little shoe box mm-hmm. into a little container to keep all the stuff. And you'd buy the massive packs of all kinds of stuff like Fun Dip mm. and stuff. And fun Dip. Yeah. I do remember Fun yeah. Dip too, the little sugary packs, and then yeah. you would dip. So a true story. My parents used to do this, um, and I'm glad, I'm grateful for they, for them doing this because you don't want to eat a lot of candy and all in one day because you end sure. up getting sick. So yeah. one thing my parents used to do is they would see our bags of candy. They would take some of the candy out. And put it up somewhere so that way we have a minimum of candy so we don't spoil our dinner right. or our breakfast. And we, they didn't want to spoil us with junk food. So right. that's one thing my parents did for sure. Um, <laughs> my parents did that more for Halloween. For ha- they did it for Halloween too. Yeah. And Christmas for me too. You got candy for Christmas? Mm-hmm. Oh, we did. <laughs> um, so Christmas candy. Because um, you know how you can buy the candy cane sure yeah. uh, hoops and then it has like M&M's in them so oh, my yeah. parents would take okay. some out <laughs> take put them in a jar mm-hmm. oh, wow. and then they divvy that out later so that we're not spoiling our, our right. breakfast and dinner now Christmas was a little bit different because Christmas time is a joyous time so my parents were a little bit more lenient on that but I do remember so um, Caesar, we have a couple of events going on for GGC campuses yeah. right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the first event, uh, it, it, is, it is tonight. By the time you're here in the podcast, we're going to get it uploaded before 6 p.m. Uh, to 8 p.m. They got the paint and pour, of course, uh, February 13th. That's today, today. Uh, the day before uh, Valentine's Day, level one game room. Caesar, you know, paint and pour, you know, I, 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 I know sip and, sip and paint, but that's something different. <laughs> they, well, of course, we're not doing that here at GGC. Right. 
Um, so what do you think about this event, you know, the paint pour and getting... It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I haven't heard a lot about it, but I've heard a little bit, and it seems pretty interesting. Interesting, interesting indeed. So you guys can show up there. Um, it's in the level uh, level one game room, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, it is Thursday afternoon, so maybe not many people have classes on a Thursday yeah. or maybe a Friday. Um, so if you guys are interested, GC community, if you're interested into something like that, um, game uh, level one game room is a good space too. Have you been to the game room? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how students do it um, when they're going into the game room and they're playing video games. They're very competitive. One thing I know about my theory is I'm a huge gamer, right? But sometimes I can't really game on a weekday because I have projects, I have sure, school, course, I have yeah, studies. Yeah. So I try to limit my gaming to maybe a weekend where I'm absolutely free. And now yeah. nowadays that's <laughs> not even the case. I'm mostly playing video games on the summertime or spring break. Right. Or do you do you play games every every day, uh, every weekend? Which not much, much, not much anymore. Not much I anymore. guess okay, yeah, I it's so. more busy with school, mm -hmm. focusing on that. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. We we I, I focus on school all the time, yeah. uh, weekends and weekdays nowadays. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe when the it's spring changed. break comes around right. and you the summer break comes back, you can get back into that that realm of gaming. Yeah. But I see the students in there that they're gaming it oh, up because yeah. they have the free time to do yeah. it. It's like you guys should really be studying. <laughs> but you know, it's a good relaxation. It's I really always cool, say yeah. to many people out there, GGC, um, go out to the game room, yeah. celebrate, and just game. Because one thing I do with gaming is. It, it helps meditate it's a, your yeah, mind. it's like a relaxation. It, relaxation. Sure. Yeah, it helps course. meditate the mind a little bit. Take your mind like off you just, edge yeah, you just a chill. little bit. I remember when I was a freshman, I thought the game room was amazing. I went a lot. It was really cool. Mm. I just thought it was the coolest thing. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, I remember when I first played I, when I first played a game, it was the Sega Genesis. Um, my brother had got a Sega Genesis for Christmas. So we end up playing uh, Sonic and, yeah. and and Metroid for the Sega Genesis, and that was the first time we ever played a video game. Of course, I sucked because I didn't. <laughs> right. I was about four years old yeah. when I first played a video game. It was, you know, I, I sucked, I, but it was. I didn't really get into the retro mm -hmm. games like Sega or GameCube, but what I did was PlayStation Two. That was my first PlayStation with games. That's another classic. Yeah, another classic. So Caesar, uh, yesterday, of course. The Elvis Center was packed with a lot of students, and I'm not too sure if you knew about this event, but they call it the Black History Grizzly Feud from the hit show posted by Steve Harvey, oh, right, yeah. Family Feud. Um, I'm seeing on Instagram now, ladies and gentlemen, Greenlight was the host of this. Have you have you heard of Greenlight? Yeah, of course. Greenlight is huge RSL yeah, here on campus, and they, and they throw the, the greatest events out the there on campus. Events, yeah. The Grizzly Family Feud was in Elvis last night, and... This was something that you guys shouldn't have missed because it is February. Not only that tomorrow is Valentine's Day, but it is Black History Month. Yeah. Um, so to really express that out um, for GCC community, and, and they had something like this to have a trivia for our Black History, was very phenomenal. You guys can follow their Instagram. It's Greenlight's Instagram, GGC underscore Greenlight. They looks like they, they had a great host, and they had it set up here. And as I see on the Instagram, they had it set up like family food, <laughs> like the actual talk show. That's so, so cool. That's really cool to see that they, they took the time and dedication for that. Um, I wonder, did they have the music there? You know, the They must music. have had the music. If they had the music. Now, sadly, I wasn't there. We, I was in class, yeah. 630 to 9 yesterday. But to see that they're doing something like that out there is really, really amazing. Um, I applaud GGC Greenlight for hosting that event. Definitely. and. Based off the Instagram and my brother, I believe he texted me about that last night. It was late last night when he texted me. Great turnout, you know, really? great turnout for GGC That's students. Um, it really is amazing for sure uh, for for that. Um, uh, so next we're gonna talk about food. Oh, great. Now, <laughs> Valentine's Day is tomorrow, like we right. mentioned. Yeah. Did you know that they have Wing Wednesday? Well, chick fried chicken Wednesday yesterday. Oh, Did well, you know that? I didn't. So, ladies and gentlemen, Fried Chicken uh, Wednesday was yesterday, and you guys know I'm a foodie. Are you a foodie? <laughs> yeah, for What's the most part. What's your favorite Definitely. type of food? I, I, if you had to guess. I, I'd have to say sweets. I'm not going to lie. Sweets? Like pastries and okay. stuff. So, sure. you eat that on... Because I had a cinnamon bun for breakfast this morning. Oh, nice. No lie. It's a little bit of orange juice. Now, I don't eat uh -huh. that every day, but of course. when we had to go to class and then we ended up going to econ later, I had to have something quick. Great. Um, fried Chicken Wednesday. Yeah. Yesterday, today they have cupcakes and all other Valentine's Day type treats. Now, are you going to go and, go to dine? To be honest, I just might. <laughs> you might because the cupcakes. I see the pictures, 
They're, okay, they're, they're pink and red uh, frosting. So right. our take must have been like strawberry. Right, or red raspberry. velvet. Red velvet, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, shout out to GGC Dining, Grizzly Dining. They're, they're doing something like that. It's amazing that they're expressing the culture of Valentine's Day uh, for tomorrow. Oh, to, well, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, and they're pre-celebrating today. Right. Um, for you guys out there, um, by the time you hear the podcast, they're going to have it later tonight. Uh, please stop by the Grizzly Dining because... Uh, they're having Valentine's Day sweets. You can really get into the spirit of Valentine's Day and, and to showing your, your your love for the school, your love for your students, love for your community. Come out and support the Grizzly Dining uh, on, in that retrospect for um, for Valentine's Day. And our next and last topic, of course, we're, we're spreading the love. It's Valentine's Day. We're going to spread the love a little <laughs> bit. To. If you guys haven't followed us, of course, Zar underscore seven, that's Caesar's Instagram, and of course, our Instagram at grizzly underscore talk, we have 1,687 followers. Yeah. So, really good. we're going to spread that love. If you guys haven't seen it yet, of course, the GGC spring season is here. Do you know a little bit about baseball or softball? A little bit. A yeah. little bit. So, many guys know about this. Many students know about this about me. I did play baseball. Right. Uh, the spring season sports is coming up tomorrow, Valentine's Day. Of course. So, they're really going to spread their love for Valentine's Day, their love for the sport, love for the sport. their love for their GGC community. And I really recommend every student to come out to that. Again, it's starting tomorrow. Now, they have a whole weekend's event. They have a whole weekend event for uh, games and shows. You guys can see it on our Instagram. It's grizzly underscore talk. That is our infomercial commercial. We have about 69 views right now um, to just give you details about the game. It starts tomorrow. This whole entire weekend is going to be some action for baseball and softball. So you guys do not want to miss it. And for all of you club members, of course, you has the club, Grizzly Club, open house, and the hospitality suites in the GGC Athlet- Athletics building. So you can see uh, best of both worlds between softball and baseball. I really recommend you guys going out for that for sure. Um, before we close out the podcast here today on a beautiful Thursday as we get ready to celebrate Valentine's Day tomorrow, uh, I want to thank Caesar for coming on the show yeah, for course. sure. Uh, Caesar, we like to do this thing, what we call shout outs. And when we have ourselves and departments on the show, we like to uh, give out the shout out. So maybe if you want to shout out your family, your loved ones, even your dog. I had a get, I had an RSO, GC Honors. Charlie, she came on and she mentioned her dog. So the floor is yours. Um, sure, I'll shout out my uh, girlfriend since it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day, girlfriend. Uh, uh, Lois. Oh, okay. All right, Lois. Happy Valentine's Day to you. All righty. So again, my I, I don't do much of shout outs, but since it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to spread the love. Uh, I want to shout out uh, on the special edition episode. I want to shout out my family, all four of my siblings, my two brothers and two sisters. Uh, Alex, Ryan, Kendria, Amber. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. I want to shout out to my mom and pops, my mom and dad. Um, my dad, he's, he, you know, he's, he's, he's my pops, you know. <laughs> my mom, she's my rock. Uh, I am going to take her out to dinner one of these days. So, mom, if you're listening, noble fan, it's coming, mom, it's coming. <laughs> I wanted to spread out the love to my stepmom, too, uh, Darian. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to you as well. Um, you know, I love you as well. Uh, and I love that you're part of the family for sure. Uh, you've been part of the family for two years now, but, uh, well, three years, four, no, actually, no, I lied, five years, give or take, so, uh, Jerry and I love you too as well, as well as my step brother, uh, Roderick, happy Valentine's Day to you as well, buddy, um, and happy Valentine's Day to the GCC community, yeah. hopefully you guys are gonna have a rocking, fantastic day tomorrow, and, uh, you know, we'll see you guys back there right here on the next podcast next week uh, for GGC Podcasting. Uh, thank you, Caesar, for coming yeah. on the show. Happy Valentine's Day yeah. to you too, buddy. Happy Valentine's Day <laughs> to you, yeah. Um, so that's going to do it for the Grizzly Talk Podcast live from the Grizzly Digital uh, Network Media Room. Stay tuned for next week as we come back for another radio podcast action. This has been the Grizzly Talk Podcast with Caesar and Kennedy. Uh, go Grizzlies and have a great day. Oh, oh. Oh